Hey Tubies, it's Psychic Bob. Well, I tell you, I'm just hanging out on a Friday and having a cool day. I'm so glad you're here with me. I've been uh, working on a painting here for the last few days and I'm getting down the base coat here. I'm doing another painting. It's going to have a metallic theme to it, I think. But you know how paintings are. When you work on them, they continually evolve. Anyways, right now I've got the canvas laid out here on the floor and uh, just working on this. So we're going to try to make this come together in the next few days. But uh, just putting down some base layers on this canvas here. Having a great time. You know, I just find doing painting to be really therapeutic. You know, I do a lot of work and it takes a lot of energy <laughs> to do psychic work. And any of you who have done psychic work, you know, and as much as I do, I literally read every day all day long. Sometimes I just have to get away and let my mind and spirit rest. I always find that doing painting is, is really very soothing. Now, this painting right now, we're just, as I said, getting down the base layer, which is silver. I like to paint on the floor. I know some, some artists use canvas easels. Uh, I lay mine on the floor. I just am laying on a bunch of cardboard here, boxes, and some paper that I have. And I just find that when I can look at my art from above, I get a kind of a clearer perspective and imagery of what I want to do. So, so we're working on this little, little by little today. You know, I think with art, you know, it's like one of these things you can't rush it. You just have to work through it, take your time, get the feel of it. I don't know, that's my experience. Maybe yours is different, but uh, yeah, so we're working on this canvas little by little. And now I'm just painting the edges. I like to have my edges of my canvas painted. Some artists don't paint the edges, but I do. I think it looks more refined, more professional to do the edge of the canvas. See, as you can see down here, this is still white. And uh, I'm just adding some, some silver paint. You know, when I paint in silver, it gets me thinking uh, about UFO phenomena. We're going to talk about UFOs in just a little while today, but it's been on my mind because I'm using silver paint and a lot of people that see UFOs have said that they're they're silver colored. How's that edge looking? Yeah, that's pretty good. So we're working on it slowly but surely. But this is going to be a well, I haven't really fully decided, but it's going to be an interesting silver kind of textured piece as I as I go along. So there's another artwork in progress. Well, I tell you, I got to say thank you. Thank you to all of you who came out to yesterday's video. You guys have been so fun and so supportive of my new adventure. A lot of you have been writing to me saying, Psychic Bob, it's fun to go to CVS and to the, the you know other places you go, but we want to see something we've never seen. And I get that. And so that's why I went yesterday to Neiman Marcus. It's one of my favorite places on earth. And I had to bring you guys there and let you experience it. Now, you know, one of the things as I was looking at yesterday's videos, I realized you really didn't get to see all of the amazing and special treatment that I got while I was there. Um, I couldn't film everything because some of the salespeople were shy, but I'm I ran into some amazing salespeople. As I told you, the management welcomed me to the store and they gave me free water. And um, anyways, while I was there, I had a number of assistants help me look at things and they really treat you like world. I didn't really capture that and I wish I had because it's such a special time there. It really, really is. But next time when we go back, I'll spend more time showing you more stuff. A lot of you Women wrote and said, we want to see the perfumes and cosmetics. Well, I don't really wear makeup or perfume, but you know what? They have some beautiful stuff there. So we'll definitely go look at that. And uh, some of the guys said, we want to see more of the clothes. And, you know, I saw some amazing clothes there. And I did it, I guess, well, I was short on batteries on my camera. And I just was so in the moment. I didn't actually film everything I wanted you to see. So we're going to have another trip to Neiman's, uh, not too far away, in the next few weeks. And we'll go back and film some more and show you more. But I'm so glad you got a little taste of Neiman Marcus. 
Anyways, I promised you today we would have a reveal of what I bought yesterday. So let's get ready for that. <gasps> Neiman Marcus. <gasps> what is in my big bag? Let us see. So inside my big Neiman's bag is a <gasps> Waterford box. Now, for those of you who don't know about Waterford, it's one of the finest cut glass companies in the world. Um, Waterford's like the top of its game. It's, it's very pricey, but you know, the pieces are like investment pieces because they hold their value and they, in fact, they grow in value. But they had a clearance sale on this piece of Waterford and I got it at a kill still deal. And uh, oh, by the way here, sitting next to this is uh, this is a piece of Orifers crystal. You guys may have remember yesterday when I showed you Orifers and Costa Boda. The two companies are intertwined, but I actually got this a few years ago at Neiman Marcus. It's an Orifers votive candle. So anyways, I have that just sitting here, but let's go ahead and open this. And actually, you know what? I'm going to have to move this candle holder before I break it. Um, we're going to have to turn this box around because the tab is at this end. So, oops, hopefully I can get this out. Let's see here. I might need another hand to do this. Okay, so we got the tab open and we're going to open the lid. And inside it's got some flaps. Wow, this is really well packed. Oh, there goes my bag. All right, we'll get that. And. Gosh, I'm having a hard time doing this. And then, oh, look at this. I haven't opened this till now, guys. I waited until I could do an unboxing. There's a little elegant card in there. Let's see what that says. Our mark of excellence. Waterford's pursuit of fine, uh, pursuit of design excellence is forever steadfast in a world of wavering standards. Always beautiful, ever functional. We strive to fulfill your aspirations. Every piece is manually checked an average of four times to ensure it arrives to you in perfect condition. Seek the Waterford stamp of excellence where, which can be found on every piece of crystal, of, our, of every piece of crystal, our guarantee to you. And look, it's got the little Waterford seahorse. Oh, this is what it says, for you, for now, forever, enjoy. Oh, isn't that great? Well, that's how I feel about my water. I enjoy it, and it's a treasure of a lifetime. So let's uh, I'll put that aside. We'll open this up. Ooh, this is nice. Look, we got the fancy paper here. Oh, it's wrapped in plastic wrap. Ooh, ooh, okay. Guys, I'm going to set the camera down. I'll restart because I can't do this with one hand. All right, in time for the big reveal. Here is the bowl that I got. Yay! Remember that Waterford bowl I saw in the case? It's in the video. Go back and watch if you didn't see it. But I had to have it. And this is just beautiful. You can see the beautiful cut work on it. These are all handmade. They have artisans hand cut the crystal. It's like the way they cut jewelry. They cut the glass. Oh, look, it's got the Waterford sticker on it. And this is called the Westbridge Bowl. And it's done with like palm leaves and arches. And inside you can see it's just beautiful. It just sparkles. Look at that amazing cut work. Can you guys see that? For those of you who are glass collectors, you will recognize this and appreciate it. But if you're new to glass, just know this is really well done. I can tell you. Beautiful, fine quality cut glass work. So that is my new bowl from Neiman Marcus. And as I said, I got a really good deal on it. I have to find the receipt here. And for those of you who are interested, um, the price on this, and I don't know if it's still current at Neiman's because it was a special, uh, It's a, I paid, how much was it? $165 US dollars for it. Normally this bowl retails for $300, but I got it for on sale at $165. So I think I did pretty good because 
I've been collecting water for years and that is actually a good price for this size. It's a 10 inch diameter bowl, all hand cut. So yay, that's the newest piece of my glass collection. I gotta find a place to put it now. But anyways, that's my, my treasure to myself from Neiman Marcus yesterday. And you know, a number of you have been writing to me asking me to speak more about the alien and UFO phenomena that is occurring. And as you may recall, back at the beginning of the year at my annual New Year's predictions, I said that 2019 was going to be a year of increased UFO sightings, that contact with aliens would be at an all-time high, and that it would be to a point to where the world governments would have to begin to seriously address it or consider addressing it. Well, it looks like all of my predictions are coming to pass. Uh, I'm going to put a link here in the info box below, but uh, there's another channel I watch sometimes called Lisa Haven. And Lisa Haven does kind of her take on the news, and uh, I don't always agree with everything Lisa says, but I do think that she does get into what's really going on. And uh, it seems that the United States government and other world governments are now having to come up to possibly make a public announcement about the UFO phenomena. Now, what's very interesting is that for those of you who have studied the UFO phenomena, you know, many UFO researchers and investigators believe that the phenomena has a tie to some sort of genetics program, that the aliens may be seeking our genetics to help further their own objectives, either create a, a mixed human-alien hybrid race or save their own race. Many uh, UFO abductees have reported that they're interested in obtaining samples of our uh, tissue and our cells because their own race is dying. And they view human races compatible, close enough at least according to them, to be genetically compatible with them. And so many, many abductees have said, well, you know, we were used for breeding experiments, for biological reproduction experiments. And what's very interesting is that there's also been a number of people said the United States government is well aware of this and is doing a cover up. Now, if you go to Lisa's channel, she has a very interesting video. Again, I'll put the link below. But it looks like there are a number of private corporations now that are studying DNA. And they've uncovered that they may have a link to UFO phenomena. So what does this mean? It means that the American government may be partnering with private corporations to collect DNA samples that may assist the alien you know, genetics program. There could be links. And I think, honestly, that there is. That's my psychic take on it. And I think I want to tell you, keep watching because more is coming. There are many people that are former government employees. Well, not many left, but in the few years ago, those who were still with us were claiming that the American government entered into a pact, an agreement with the gray alien races, that basically they could abduct people, conduct experiments in exchange for alien technology. It's believed that President Eisenhower was in on negotiations with alien beings. And there are a lot of people who have witnessed to him actually meeting with them. So I think, you know, that saying where there's smoke, there's fire. I don't think it's necessarily impossible that this may truly have occurred within the United States. What's very fascinating is if you study the work of like Bud Hopkins, who was an excellent researcher, um, all of the, the scientific evidence tends to point to the same direction, that all of the abductees are having similar experiences. All of them have experienced taking of you know, genetic samples, be it skin cells or ova or other cells. Um, and they all have been, not all, but many of them have reported being told directly, yes, we're working on an interbreeding program to save our race. Now, 
if this is true, and we uncover that the United States government had knowledge of this and did nothing, it could be a bombshell to rock the very foundations of the trust of the American people. I'm hoping, however, that the American people, rather than revolting in the streets, will take this knowledge and say, what does it mean for life? See, the fact is, the bigger picture is that there is life out in the cosmos. Whether you believe it or not, I'm telling you, in time, all of my predictions will come to pass. 50 years from now, when I'm gone, you'll be watching this video and saying, wow, Psychic Bob said that years ago. And by then, the truth will be known. But I'm telling you, as I said, 2019 is a year we want to watch. It ain't over yet, but let's keep watching. I've heard that other governments of the world have remained silent at the pressure of the United States government. And I think it's a matter of time until the lid starts to break. Lisa Haven speculates that the United States government may soon release an official announcement that there has been made alien contact. This will be fascinating, and I tell you, I'm watching for it. So if all of this really is true, and I have good reason to believe that it is, what should be our response? Well, I think as spiritual people, we should avoid panic and fear. I think we should say, isn't the universe a grand place? And for those of us who believe in a higher power, who believe in a God, can we not consider that the divine God, goddess, the gods, however you interpret divinity, has such an infinite mind that why should it only limit life to our planet? I mean, really, when we talk about saying, you know, life on Mars, why is that any stranger than life on Earth? Now, yes, I can say, well, you know, the, the conditions were right on the Earth for life to evolve and to come into being. But the fact is that ultimately, for spiritual people, we believe that divinity had a hand in creation. And so I find it not at all strange that there could be, and I do believe there is, life on other worlds. So if all of this, as Lisa Haven is saying, comes to pass, which I do believe it will, we as spiritual people don't have to panic. Be assured that that life that comes to earth is really no different than you and I. All life in the cosmos wants to survive, it wants to feel, it wants to understand, it wants to grow. If the aliens can make these massive craft, these spacecraft that can travel light years at the speed of light, does that not speak of a superior intelligence? Certainly an intelligence like that could have easily destroyed the Earth long before now, if it wanted to. So my ruling is we don't have to be afraid. So today, wherever you are, I want you just to pause and I want you, if you can, tonight, walk outside, look into the night sky, see the stars if you can, or maybe if you can see the moon, whatever you can see. If it's cloudy where you are, go another night. But I want you to go outside on a night where you can see the stars. And maybe you had to have to drive out into the country to see the stars if you're in the middle of the city. But spend some time under the stars and look at how vast the cosmos is. And we only see a tiny fraction of it from Earth. Not even the full galaxy are we really seeing. So if all that we can see is only a fraction, think how much more is out there. So when we talk about aliens and alien phenomena, this is nothing to fear. This is a chance for us to understand the mind of infinite intelligence. In the spiritualist movement, we call God infinite intelligence. And I like that word. And my spirit guides have said that is an apt name for the divine, infinite intelligence. So everything is under the guidance and control ultimately, ultimately of infinite intelligence. So let's let infinite intelligence reveal to us its plan for the cosmos in time. And let's not have fear, but let us keep joy and hope in our hearts that we can expand our connections in the cosmos and truly have friends. I would even say the word brethren from the stars. So let's us welcome our space brethren. 
Well guys, I had the best time here with you today. And thank you for being here for my unboxing of my new Waterford Bowl. And uh, again, for those of you who like that bowl, the name of it is the West Bridge Bowl. It's all one word, West, W-E-S-T, Bridge, B-R-I-D-G-E, West Bridge Bowl by Waterford Crystal. I am not being endorsed by Waterford nor Neiman Marcus, but I do love them both. And I thought, wow, what a winning combination. A day at Neiman Marcus and Waterford Crystal to go home with me. It was a great day. If you didn't see yesterday's video and you don't know what I'm talking about, you got to go see yesterday's video. So check it out. It's in the queue right before this one. By the way, help me out. Like this video, favorite it, share it with your friends, and hit subscribe. Be part of our channel. We would love you to be here. Guys, I love you. Listen, if you want to get on my schedule for a reading, I'm taking reading uh, bookings for next week. I'm filled up through the weekend, but give me a call. 703-825-3929. Get on my schedule. Uh, and the link for my phone number and my email is below. So get in touch with me. Private reading is you and me, one-on-one -on -one for a full hour. We'll cover everything. Past, present, future, spirit guides, messages from the deceased loved ones. Uh, we're going to look at your life themes, your mission, what you're here to do. Are you on your chart? We're going to look at your karmic links. All of that and more, and I answer all of your questions. So I would love the chance to do a private reading with you. So connect with me and let's make it happen. Anyways, visit my website, www.psychicbob.com. That link will be below. All right, guys, we'll see you back here tomorrow and Saturday. We got our spiritualist class coming and our seance. So don't miss it. Be here tomorrow for that. I love you guys. May all of you always blessed be. I'm going to go out and look at the stars tonight. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night.